what was your favorite feature of Python? Do you remember like what? Yeah. So it's so interesting to linger on like the what what really makes you connect with a language. I'm not I sure agree. it's e e obvious to introspect that. No, it isn't. And I've, I've thought about that to at, at some length. I'm not, I, I think definitely the fact that I could read it later, yeah. that I, I could use it productively without becoming an expert. And like you, other that, languages I had to put more effort into. Right. That's like an it. empirical observation. Like you're not analyzing any one aspect of the language. It just seems time after time yes. when you look back, it's somehow readable. It's somehow readable. Then it, it, it was sort of, I could take uh, executable English yeah. and translate it to Python more easily. Like I didn't have to go, there was no translation layer. Uh, as an engineer or as a scientist, I could think about what I wanted to do, and then the syntax wasn't that far behind it. Yeah, right. Now there are some, there have some, there are some warts there still. It wasn't perfect. <laughs> like there's some areas where I'm like, ah, it'd be better if this were different or if this were different. Some of those things got added to the language too. I was really grateful for some of the early pioneers in the Python ecosystem back, because Python got written in '91 is when the first version came out. But mm -hmm. Guido was very open to users. And one of the sets of users were people like Jim Huguenin and, and David Asher and Paul Dubois and uh, Conrad Hinson. These were people that were on the mailing list and they were just asking for things like, hey, we really should have complex numbers in this language. So let's, you know, there's a J, there's a one J, right? And they, the fact they went the engineering route of J is interesting. I don't, I don't think that's entirely favoring engineers. I think it's because I is so often used as the index of a for loop. <laughs> so I think that's actually why. <laughs> Probably. Right. I mean, there's there's a pragmatic aspect. Were but the you... fact that complex numbers were there, I love that. The well, fact that I could write ND array constructs and that reduction was there. Very simple to write summations and 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 broadcasting was there. I could do addition of whole arrays. Um, so that was cool. Those are some things I loved about it. 